Today I'll show you how you can benefit from the Project Explorer Creating Levels toolset in Advanced Steel. So I've created a reference model and I'm going to be going back and forth. There's a lot going on, so I want to go to the quick views and, uh, you know, select the elements I don't want and selected objects off, jumping back up to the selection filters. I want to turn off those joint boxes, select the quick views, and the boxes are turned off. So that makes it a little clear. We're going to be looking at creating levels. Select the light bulb to the right of the text to turn the levels on and off. So this really helps when you're working with a large structure. Right click on the level text to see a list of options. You can mark elements that are attached to that particular level. They will be highlighted and from the, let me see, uh, yeah, it's the selections, you can clear the marked objects. So let's see how it's done. So on the next tab, I just have a starter here where I have my grids. So we're going to create level above, that's the third icon in, and you can name the level. I'm going to put it at level zero and select OK. So when a level is created, the text is bold, meaning it's immediately active. For example, I'm putting in a column. Now here comes the column properties. Let's look at the naming tab and you can see the structure and it's attached to level zero. So from my quick views, let's turn everything on so you can see the level symbols and icon. You can see the level box. So if I go to my front view, the node of that column will be on level zero. This time I'll create a level using the list. So create level above. I'm going to change out the level name as well as the altitude. Now if I zoom in, you're going to see this red text and it's the height of the level which is referenced in the model views, which will automatically be displayed on your GA elevation drawings. So there's a lot you can do in here. You can edit from the properties if you make a mistake, drag and drop, and create folders. So next we'll look at attaching elements to levels.